Hello Capricorn, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Capricorn, this is your reading for the month of May and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Okay, Capricorn, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the videos. There is an extended reading for this one Capricorn and if you are interested to know what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person, you can go ahead and you can check out the link in the description box and comment section. As far as this reading on YouTube is concerned, we'll see what is your energy, what is the energy of the person you are thinking about, you are dealing with <clears throat> or you will be dealing with. Okay. So let's get started Capricorn. Don't worry about this finger. This is we have today is an auspicious day known as Akshatritya over here in India, and I, I, I did the puja. I offered prayers, and that's what this. This is an alta. It will fade away over a period of time. Okay. So don't worry about that. So we have two of swords. We have. Four of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, and Four of Swords for you. A lot of Swords energy. You may be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. As far as your person is concerned, as far as your person is concerned, as far as your person is concerned, King of Pentacles. Judgment, Seven of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. Right. You may be dealing with a Sagittarius as well. So this is your spread. Two of Swords, then Four of Pentacles, Nine of Swords and... What is this? Four of Swords. Hmm. Okay. So, Capricorn, what I feel is uh, you want to move ahead, you want to progress in your life okay but you don't know how to crack down the stagnancy that you're experiencing you don't know how to get out of that stagnant phase there is a very strong desire there is a very strong intention to move ahead in your life a very strong intention to bring a shift in the energy I'm sorry if you're hearing the, the... We have kids playing down. Okay? Downstairs. So... Right. So... So... It, a strong energy to break free from the stagnancy. A strong energy to move ahead. To progress in your life. But... Again, at the same time, there is a certain... There is a certain level of confusion. I see a lot of overthinking you going back and forth between your past and your future okay and you experiencing stagnancy because of all these things okay so the intentions are very good and that's why there is so much of overthinking so don't worry about uh, nine of swords and four of swords or two of swords okay you should consider you should understand that you have you hold a lot of positive intentions for yourself okay so a strong desire for growth you want to probably you are trying to be competitive you have certain people in front of you and those people or whatever they are doing in uh, in their life they are sort of motivating you directly or indirectly 
and then you are like if they can do then why not me okay so such kind of comparison is okay at times okay and uh, if it is motivating you it is, if if such kind of comparison is uh, helping you break away from the stagnancy then then it's okay then such kind of comparison is positive and okay to compare okay uh also see capricorn that there is someone in your energy okay who uh doesn't want you to progress in your life who doesn't want to move ahead in your life this person they know the right buttons when it comes to you they know which button to press which will sort of keep you stuck which will because of which you will hold yourself back from moving on and moving ahead in your life there is someone in your energy okay this person or this energy even if they are not with you even if they are far away from you this person has access to your energy okay and they are pulling the strings of your energy right now or in the in the recent past they were doing that okay and they are keeping you stuck they are keeping you stuck they don't like when you are doing good for yourself they don't like when you are progressing they feel jealous they feel unhappy when you are happy there is someone you probably know that for some of you this person is going to certain lens like they may be doing some black magic although they are unsuccessful but they hold intentions to you know they ha- they have such kind of intentions to keep you stuck in your life they don't want you to progress whoever this person is they know you very well they know you absolutely very well so they are extremely toxic now who this person can be for some of you this is a romantic past partner capricorn for some of you this is a sibling of yours for some of you this is a toxic mother for some of you it's a friend friend or a work colleague but the strong the, the strong energy is that i'm feeling right now is that of a toxic romantic past partner a toxic mother or a toxic sibling for some of you it can be a friend or a work colleague but these three energies mother sibling and past romantic partner is coming across as very strong okay they know you very well whoever this person is they know you absolutely very well okay and this person they keep on thinking a lot about you okay and through their thoughts they are trying to create an impact on your energy okay If you're planning for if you're thinking about divorcing your partner if you're married and you're thinking about divorce please go ahead and uh, I mean you are already on the verge of taking this decision about divorce you know your mind knows your your subconscious mind very well knows that it is good for you to take the divorce but it is just like you have invested so much in this person or in this marriage and you are stuck over there because of kids probably you remain stuck in the in that in that marriage because of kids but you are not at all happy you are not happy in that marriage or in that connection okay you 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 had lot of sleepless nights 
not just couple of months since last couple of years you had a lot of sleepless nights and it's the the thought of leaving this person is constantly at the top of your mind at any given point of time in your life since last 2 3 years if that is something that is not settling you down it's time for you to settle your mind and how to settle your mind is by is by is by freeing yourself from a certain stagnant situation and for some of you the stagnant situation is this marriage or a long term situation in which you are absolutely unhappy you capricorn you uh, for some of you i'll be i'll be a bit honest over here you have experienced a lot of toxicity in this connection you should have moved out of this connection long time back and if you are still in a dilemma at least the cards are suggesting to move out okay because that is sort of impacting that is impacting your emotional and mental well-being okay you make yourself as a priority uh, if you want go ahead and get a reading done with with a tarot card reader or with a psychic or an astrologer okay go ahead and do that but don't extend things to a level where you start feeling uh, unhappy in your life you start uh you start getting on into a depression you start feeling emotionally and mentally unsettled don't do that dear okay i mean i i i i strongly believe in marriages i strongly believe in connections okay but what i see as at least what the cards are trying to tell me is that you gave this person multiple chances but you have experienced so much of toxicity so much of darkness in this connection that it's high time for you to move out that is what the cards are suggesting okay and once you move out you will have new beginnings you will take some time to overcome that uh, that uh, that uh, that situation but you will have good beginnings okay uh maybe for some of you you have someone on your mind a new person okay uh and i see you are confused about that person maybe for some of you a new person has approached you and you are confused whether you should wait for the past person whether you should move on it's it's time for you to move on that's what the cards are suggesting me money is looking good but the another advice also over here is to use your money wisely do not keep on splurging your money okay also also i see that create some assets for yourself create a start having a retirement plan for yourself okay you have the capability of uh, making good amount of money some real in in a very short period of time and you have this at the back of your mind that you want to enjoy your 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 life okay some of you are travel addicts some of you are like i really want to explore the different side of life maybe you want to become spiritually inclined and all that stuff okay and you have the capability to make a good chunk of money in real good short period of time uh how the cards are not indicating but you will know eventually how to make money that kind of money okay what will help you that kind of money So if you are planning an early retirement that is definitely possible for you guys if you are like I want to take an early retirement and I really want to do things that I really like like travel the world or uh, become the spiritual person or get into a research or something or serve the community or serve the stray life okay be associated with our uh, dogs orphanages and pets orphanages or or uh, orphanages for uh, for the underprivileged uh underprivileged uh, people from the society right so whatever aim you have you will be able to achieve that and if you're worried about money please don't be worried about money because what i see is you are going to make a really good amount of money in your life okay and that too in short period of time okay as far as your person is concerned capricorn we have king of pentacles we have judgment seven of cups and knight of pentacles so 
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हु सेवर दिस पर्सन इज दे आर वेरी गुड लुकिंग पर्सन सेकेंडली दे विल गिव यू लॉर्ड ऑफ इमोशनल स्टेबिलिटी लॉर्ड ऑफ इमोशनल स्टेबिलिटी दिस इज दिस इज समन हु इज वेरी लविंग केयरिंग पर्सन एंड दे बिलीव इन लॉन्ग टर्म सिचुएशन दे आर नॉट लाइक you me and bed types no they they are not like one night stands and casual relationships yeah let's go for dating let's go for a coffee date and let's see how it works out and then let's go for some more dates and let's see how it works out and let's see how it works out <laughs> i mean I, i mean this person will make sure that the kind of certainty and assurity you want in a connection they will give that certainty and assurity from day 1 you will be so relieved and so relaxed around this person trust me capricorn okay so this person will not keep you hanging this person they have been through multiple relationships i mean they have been yeah yeah uh, they have had at least 4 to 5 relationships and the perspective was always uh they entered into relationships from a perspective of a long term situation those relationships did not work out that was a different story for various reasons uh, those relationships did not work out but this person is a very good empath they understand the mind of other person very quickly and because of that they give that person what is the most i mean whatever is the uh, biggest necessity in the relationship okay they give that necessity uh, pretty soon okay so the assurance is is something assurance stability certainty is something that uh, a man or a woman wants in a relationship from the start usually they keep on craving for that from the start of the relationship itself right they don't want that uh, <clears throat> I mean they don't like to be in a hanging situation like oh don't know if this is moving in the right direction or oh, don't know if they are with someone else or oh, we have been I mean uh we have dated so many times but nothing is working out yet and all that stuff I mean this person is not going to say like let's get married from from day one itself but they are going to be very honest transparent and clear cut in their communication and they will give the, give you that much needed assurance okay uh with a judgment card i feel this is the person for you capricorn this is a long term partner for you this is a person with whom you will get married at least some of you and like i told you this person is very good looking and Uh, for some of you this person is also good with their money this person will have uh, i mean the opposite sex will get attracted towards this person very fast so because of that you may feel a bit insecure at times but this person will not entertain entertain any other person okay once they have set their eyes on you they will be with you only darling okay and uh their aim will also be to achieve maximum stability in this connection to build a very strong foundation of this connection before they take a plunge towards bigger things like marriage and engagement and all that stuff they will also make sure that the the foundation is strong of this connection they will make sure that uh, this connection is heading in the right direction right who sir this person is they are they are coming across as very mature very very mature and very nice and kind person okay they've been through uh, through lot of ups and downs in their life and they they value emotions they value mind and heart of people a, a lot okay <clears throat> right 
so i hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe capricorn the link for the extended is in description box and comment section we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you and what is the likely conclusion between you and this person okay all right bye bye then and yeah the link is in the ex <laughs> link is in description box and comment section for extended bye